This is painting lesson number two in this series, and here we have a look at how to paint a type of forest scene with a glow coming out of the center, and we'll practice with a big flat brush to give us one brush stroke and give us a nice tree trunk it's by loading a brush with dark on one side and light on the other. Let's have a go at this, and don't worry if you have to touch it up or things go wrong, we're only practicing. This is another simple exercise, and this time we're learning to use the flat hog bristle brush. We'll learn to double load the brush. We start by painting our white undercoat into the middle of the background. Then we pick up brown with the big two inch brush and start right in the corner and crisscross the brown in so that we get dark corners and light in the middle. Don't let your brown brush touch the white in the middle. This bit here needs blending. You see we need to blend right along here. Well, you pick up a little bit of white paint and crisscross, crisscross and blend it in. And now it's time to start wiping your brush before you pick up paint every time. And a little bit more blending. We don't want any sharp edges. Darken all your corners. And the main thing here is that it looks like nothing. Just white in the middle and dark around the edges. Now we'll clean our flat hog bristle brush. Pull it tight. Pick up the brown on one side and the white on the other. Pick it up on the tip of your brush, the very tip. And then we'll paint in a big tree trunk, not in the middle of your painting, and with the white on the inside. Load the brush again, exactly the same way, and we'll paint another tree trunk. This time it goes off the edge of the painting. There's still paint on the brush, so we do another one. Now clean your brush well and pick up the paint again, exactly the same. But this time, because we're on the other side of the painting, the white needs to be on the inside again, so you turn the brush around. That's a nice dark one. Load the brush again, and let's have one down here. This is a wider one, so I turn the brush flat, and the dark came off. There's a bit of white on the edge of the brush. I'll unload it down there, and just tidy it up. Don't worry too much about it. I'm brushing it in because it wasn't quite tidied up. Then we'll put some dark in the bottom with as little number of brush strokes as possible. Now with a little fine hairbrush, we'll load it with dark and with light. And then holding it with two fingers, you see I'm supporting my hand with my other hand, you twiddle the branches on. That's our first branch. You put your branches where you wish, going into the middle, facing into the middle. There's a wobbly branch. Let's have a dark branch. Twiddle your brush. Put them in as you wish. Twiddle them in. This is practice. Don't worry if it goes wrong. We could put foliage over it if you want to. But keep everything facing in. In. Don't do too many. Tidy up around the bottom if needed and make sure your paint's not muddy here. We need crispy dark paint. Watch how I unload the brush here. When your brush has paint on it, don't wipe it off. Do this with it. Then fill in the bits and pieces and they're horizontal brush strokes, deliberate brush strokes. A line up the outside of the tree in dark and a line up the inside of the tree in light will give you contrast and bring your tree forward. Load your little brush with plenty of dark paint and sculpture the thick bits of bark on the bottom of the trees. You can also load this brush with light and dark and paint in light and dark branches. Wipe your brush clean each time and deliberately look at it to see if it's loaded properly. You lay these branches in place rather than paint them in. Put them on with one stroke. 
have a little bit of practice painting these two coloured lines. And with that, you can paint the bark that's hanging down off the trees. You put your brush on, pull it down and turn it. Put it on, pull it down and turn it. Try not to be tempted to go back and touch them up. If it doesn't look quite right, just do another one. Twiddle the brush in finger and thumb. Don't hold it with three fingers. Now we always need dark in the bottom. Place it on with bold brush strokes. This is a dry brush, about a one inch brush, and I'll just dab it on the wet paint. And the bristles will turn that paint into what looks like grass. And by flicking it up a little bit, you get bigger grass. You'd have big grass or small grass. Keep your grass facing into the picture. Into the picture. Then I'll load the tip of the brush with a little bit of white and dab it on lightly and remember everything facing into the picture the same on the other side into the picture now let's see what we've got the contrast is the thing that is attractive on this painting the light to dark don't worry about bits and pieces missing on the branches and logs you should be striving for the dark in the corner and the light in the middle you may wish to paint this painting two or three or four times. It's fun. Don't paint big ones, paint little ones. And it looks great on the wall.